Hi, my name is Andreas and some say the perfect aircraft does not exist yet. So I decided to build it on my own. If you love aircraft, follow me, get it from dream to reality. Let's go. Welcome back my friends. At first let's dive right back in where we left the last time. We are preparing the bulkheads for our huge jigsaw puzzle so that they will be in the right position for mounting them with angular brackets. The whole fixture is meant to be a parting surface for when we create the negative mold forms for the fuselage. This way we will end up having one form for the left side and one for the right. In the meantime, the fuselage one floor above already got a layer of polyester to get rid of all the waves. We already did this for the upper side of the fuselage and we took our little mishap as an opportunity to also get the lower side in perfect shape. Next up, we will send it down to a mirror finish, but before, let's have a look at Tom's side project. The CNC mill is now assembled in its final shape and ready to go for a test run. We decided to directly go for the engine inlets right after our jigsaw puzzle got finished. As you can see, all parts are aligned and ready to get mounted. I put the first bulkhead upside down by mistake, but we noticed it while mounting. Who doesn't know the old saying, align once, screw twice? Or was it measure twice, cut once? Ah, uh, doesn't matter. In between, we did some measurements in the CAD to make sure that all gaps are neither too small or wide. We configured the last settings so the machine can now build the parts while we are busy working on something else. Quickly cutting a sheet of polystyrene to the correct dimensions then loading the cutting files and setting the zero position for the machine. And off we go with the first tool path, which is cutting the block to the approximate outline. This is done so that the first roughing pass has less of work to do. The second pass is removing all material, which is too much to remove in a single pass. It does about three quarters of an inch at a time, speeding up things a lot. It then directly continues with the third and last toolpath, which is creating the final form. It just passes above the surface in increments of 1 mm. So here you can see the remaining 30 minutes fast forward in about 20 seconds. While the machine was busy milling the inlet, we continued finishing the jig. And here is the result. Everything is now mounted and aligned with an accuracy of 1 mm. This means that the jig is ready to receive the fuselage plug as soon as we finished sending it. We only expect this to happen by early October, as we are now adding elevator and engine inlets to the fuselage, so we can later build this as one single monocoque part without any steps or gaps between them. Now a short glimpse at the raw foam part to see how surface quality looks like. This is important, as our wings will be built later on using exactly the same methods. And of course, we couldn't resist holding the inlet in place to see if the sizing and position looks right, not only on screen, but also in reality. I have to say, it looks amazing, almost like a small version of an Alpha Jet. Thanks for staying with me up until the end. Don't forget to hit the like button, doesn't cost you anything, but helps me a lot. See you again next Friday and until then, fly safe, fly Horus.